again, everyone. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Stephen Barr. And in this video, we will discuss cat's eye marbles. So we will define and describe and compare and contrast many of the different cat's eye marbles that were produced. We'll walk you through some identification tips. And so enjoy and thank you for watching. So the accepted definition for a cat's eye marble is any clear based machine made marble having between one and 10 ribbons or stripes inside the matrix of the marble. However, there are some marbles that exhibit transparent colored glass that can also be considered cat's eyes and we will cover a few of them. We're also going to include some super cat's eye glamour shots along the way and we hope you kindly indulge. Cat's eye production first started in Japan right around 1949 to 1950. And these marbles were first exported to Canada and soon after in the 50s and 60s they flooded the US markets. Some of the early products were sold in poly bags such as Camel, Wales, Imperial and Montrose. And here are a few examples. So let's discuss some ID tips for the Asian cat's eyes. The first being this green tint that you'll notice in the base glass of the marble, especially if you backlight the piece. And some Asians also have this cold crease mark, which are these branch-like sort of grooves that you may find at the poles of the marble. If you see these traits, you have a, an Asian. In most cases, cat's eyes do not come with elaborate nicknames, but are really categorized by numbers and colors. So I have this game dart here to demonstrate the veins that are counted in the cat's eyes for identification. This dart would have four veins or panels. And so this marble in my right hand would be considered a four vein, one color cat's eye. Here we have a few examples of the common three vein, three color Japanese cat's eyes. Now some cat's eye veins cross through the center of the marble, some stop at the center of the marble, some will stay very close to the surface and others form a compressed looking pattern where the veins stay close to the center of the marble. Here are a few pieces that are consistent with the marbles that were in the whale's bag that I just showed you. These are probably from the 60s or 70s, and there are three one-color V shapes in each of these marbles that meet at the center of the marble, creating a six-vein look. So these are six-vein, three-color marbles. And one very scarce style is this six-vein, three-color cross-through type. These were most likely being produced in the 1960s and have a beach ball appearance. This is actually the poster boy for the back cover of this marble book that I recommend. The Guide to Cat's Eye Marbles. And it's a straightforward 32 page booklet released in 1998 that documents the different cat's eyes that were available in the hobby at that point. And seasoned marble collectors are also anxiously awaiting the release of The World of Cat's Eye Marbles by Elizabeth Kemsky. This book will consist of over 150 photos on 80 pages and will go deep into the history of cat's eyes and will be a comprehensive guide to many of the styles produced by each company. Now, one of my favorite types of cat's eyes are the obscure caged style cat's eyes. This is the nine vein three color cat's eye. And I'm not sure really if it's Japanese exactly, but they certainly are foreign made. And the pattern here suggests a delicate Victorian bird cage. These are very enchanting marbles. The fat core cat's eyes. These are kind of unique marbles. They have they look a little like peltier bananas, and they all have four or six veins that stay very close to the center of the marble. Some of them may be multicolored. 
And here is an extremely rare one inch shooter with a royal blue cross through and opposing V colors in green and red from the Nicholas Roy Reynolds collection. These were very short run marbles and highly prized by collectors. Now this section does not cover every single Japanese style, but you'll get a more thorough breakdown in the upcoming Kempsky book. In the meantime, I have laid out a parade of Asians with some labels in the script below defining each style. We've got three vein, three colors, six vein, three color cross through types, a bunch of nine vein, three color V styles, and these nine vein cage type cat's eyes, which are very dazzling pieces. And here are some fat cores. And here are a few more group shots from the Nicholas Roy Reynolds collection. Nicholas is a seasoned English collector from the Cornwall, England area. In 1955, the owners at Marble King Industries made a business trip to Japan. Their intention was to buy a marble plant there to produce cat's eyes and ship them to West Virginia for packaging. These plans inevitably fell through, but they were able to gain enough knowledge on the making process to produce their own cat's eyes in West Virginia. And behold, the St. Mary's cat's eyes were born. These are high quality marbles and the two color versions are very collectible today. Collectors refer to them as St. Mary's cross throughs and they can be easily identified by having two different colored veins that meet up and cross through the center point of the marble. The veins often spread right up to the surface of the marble and many have a mild bend in the veins, but the straighter and thicker the veins, the more sought after the piece. And so I'm just presenting this running gallery of a few textbook examples. Many of these marbles are from the Kathy Huggins collection and they loosely resemble the clear based Peltier cross through marbles. This piece was gifted to me from Canadian collector Gabrielle Boyd and it's just loaded with aventurine. Marble King also made a four color cross through type that I don't have an example of so you just have to use your imagination. And this is the signature hard to find cat's eye, this orange and blue. And it was made in 1958 after the Marble King plant moved to Payton City, West Virginia. And here comes a stunning one inch cross through dragonfly shooter. Here are some more examples of the typical Marble King cat's eyes that they produced over the years. And they can be easily mistaken for the standard Vicor cat's eye. And we'll take a closer look at that a little later in the video. But the Marble King cat's eye structure also seemed to morph as the years went by from a cross through plus sign construction towards a more three veins opposed by one vein pattern as seen in some of these more modern examples. Let's explore some more experimental types. Here are the painted turtles, which were originally sold at the Sistersville Marble Festival at the Marble King booth, maybe around 2014. They have a transparent blue base with a variety of different ribbon colors. Here's a frosted Marble King cat's eye that I don't know too much about, but it's really pretty. And these are the unique pixie marbles, which have large chunks of aventurine sprinkled in the center. Here are two examples with Fenton glass in the veins. And these are from the 2010 Martha Stewart run. And these strangers are called jello veins with an odd jello-like form in the center. And here comes the snow globes featuring this white frit sprinkled in the core. 
And that wraps up the ambitious Marble King Cat's Eye Catalog. On display in living Technicolor are the Vitro Agate Cat's Eyes. The Vitro Agate Company was well versed in cat's eye production and produced many elaborate and collectible pieces beginning in 1955. I like to think of Vitro as the king of the hybrids and some of their marbles are among my personal favorites. Their glass color palette was unique and varied, showing many colorful pastel hues. The structure of their wavy rib-like ribbon patterns could really be best described as designs. And they produced cat's eye eye candy that rivaled any of the machine-made marble companies. They manufactured three distinct styles and we will discuss them here. Here is a gallery of Vitro hybrid cat's eyes. A standard Vitro cat's eye will typ typically consist of five thick wavy veins. Occasionally you'll find four or five veins. The hybrids usually show one distinct color on the vein that blends into another color at the outer edge of the vein. The outer edge of the vein can often have a frilled appearance. And many of these patterns and color combinations become easily identified by the discriminating eye and are treasured by vitro collectors. It's also encouraging to note that these quality marbles remain affordable in the marketplace and in most cases only go for a few dollars each. And if you're lucky, you may sometimes find a dash of aventurine when inspecting any of the green colored vitro glass marbles. And here's one with a splash of ox blood in the veins. Another later vitro design was called the cage style cat's eyes, produced between the 1960s and into the 1990s when the company had relocated to Anacortes, Washington State. These marbles had a, a unique open core with six ribbons stretched close to the outer edge of the marble and meeting at each pole. Some of the two and three color varieties are true works of art. And so one particular cage style is named the Windex marble. This comes in a 7 8 shooter size with that unusual transparent cleanser blue base and six curvy white ribbons. These are hard to find marbles. These are the horseshoe cat's eyes. Most literature states that these were produced at the Anacortes plant, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were made in Parkersburg, West Virginia as well. Nevertheless, the structure of this marble suggests a cage style with a deep bend in the glass, with very blade-like ribbons, and this results in a shape that suggests a horseshoe pattern. These are really unmistakable marbles and when you see one, you just know. The Peltier Glass Company's contribution to the cat's eye world really just includes their banana cat's eyes and a shooter marble that was referred to as a root beer float. The banana style began production in the mid 1950s. These pieces had a one colored vein that rested in the core of the marble, stretching from pole to pole. The five most common colors that were used were white, red, blue, green, and an egg yolky type yellowy orange. There's some hybrids and there are actually other rarer colors. A variety of odd shapes came from these runs, including some real fatties, but generally speaking, they resemble bananas with smooth edges rather than the sharp edges that we saw in the, the uh, Japanese fat cores. The root beer floats were one day runs from 1988 that had a wide vein in an amber base. These marbles were about an inch in diameter. Peltier produced a variety of clear base national line rainbows that resemble cat's eyes, but are not usually placed in that category. Have a look at my clear base Peltier marbles video for more information on those styles. There were a handful of other companies that dabbled in cat size, including the Heaton Agate Company and the C.E. Bogart Company. 
These marbles are a little difficult to identify 100%, but I've seen examples of Bogards with deep purple colors in their veins and also striking jet black veins. Many have three or four wispy veins and others designs have a Peltier banana kind of look to them. A lot of these pieces are generously packed with bubbles. The Corte of Mexico is undoubtedly the world's leader in marble production today. And we'll look at a few of their examples, but first let's zoom in on a couple of their four vein cat size that resemble the Marble Kings. Once you look closely, you can clearly see the orange peel like pitted surface. This is the best way to tell them apart from the Marble Kings, the Vitros, and the other American companies. These are some three colored six vein cat's eyes from assorted modern net bags sold by Mega Marbles. And their vein patterns are displayed in three sets of different colored triplets, much like some of the vintage Japanese cat's eyes. And here are the cage style Vecor Jaguar with a handsome color combination of black, white, and orange. And here comes these banana looking cat's eyes. These are called Vecor Flames. And they look like pelt bananas, but they have a, an iridescent finish to the surface of the marble. They come in red, yellow, green, and blue. And finally, we have the Vecor Snowflake, and they are rather standard looking marbles, but they have an iridescent finish and they come in blue and white. Now, one thing I should mention, Vicor did make some vintage cat's eyes that are really very obscure, and we're not going to cover those in this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the cat's eyes identification video. I'd like to thank everyone who helped with their photos, their documents, or research assistance. If you found this information helpful, Please check out some of my other video content and otherwise we will see you in the next installment of Vintage Machine Made Marbles.